Welcome everybody to another segment with Dave and myself. Now, we're going to show you some some simple little remedy that you can make for babies with diaper rash issues or or not or not diaper rash issues, a protection for the lower end. You know, babies born and they pee and they poo and sometimes they create a nasty condition or a chemical condition because you're feeding them stuff and it's reacting with the body. So we're going to make something today very simple, very easy that can help alleviate or maybe heal the rashes that may occur or even protect against forming a rash. And what you're going to need is lanolin, okay, any oil of choice. I'm going to use sunflower oil here. Uh, you can use uh, anything you want. You can use almond oil, you can use apricot oil, you can use wheat germ oil, whatever you like. I'm just going to use this. Again, make them better. Share the health. You don't have to. Don't be polarized. Expand your horizons. Do not use soybean oil. Do not use vegetable oil. Do not use canola oil. Okay, and do not use cottonseed oil. These are oils you do not want to apply to the skin in any way, shape, or form because they can either damage the molecular levels of the myelin sheet around the cells or other things. You want something that's going to be supportive. Lanolin has high levels of vitamin D and some vitamin A in it, which is one of the reasons why I like it. Okay, and then your sunflower oil has your vitamin E. What we're going to do is we're going to use the essential oil of myrrh. Now, again, it doesn't have to be myrrh. Play with it. Use different essential oils. It's not the end all, be all. Now, I just told Dave, you watch this and it won't work with me. <laughs> <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> it came out. <laughs> all right. How you do it, which way you want to go with it, really make doesn't make a difference. So I'm just going to put in, see if she'll even come out. Come out, come out wherever you are. Uh huh. See, I told you it wasn't going to cooperate. There was one. One, two, oh. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I'm going to try ten drops. Oh, no. This is one of those oils that Christ received from a king. I'm going to use iodine. Okay. Again, not much. Maybe three or four drops. One, two, three, four. Now I'm using a loose of iodine. Just so you know. Okay. Um, the other store-bought kelps and seaweeds, quite frankly, they offer very little. The, the microgram strength of those oils are useless. You need something that's going to be strong. All right, we're going to add lanolin. Oh, breakfast of champions done to that. <laughs> Get in there. Where can you get lanolin? Hmm? Where do you get lanolin from? That's uh, from sheep oil. From the sheep. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And it's closest thing to our skin. Um, I'm written down there. Yeah. Um, it's a wax compromised ester of cholesterol and fatty acids. It's extracted from sheep wool. Pure lanolin in, in, in the sheep is equivalent to human sebum. Skin. Okay? Mm -hmm. So basically, start working it in because this stuff is a goo. Ah, just work it, work it, work it, until we get it going. One thing I've noticed in this series of videos that we did today, there's there hasn't been uh, what's it called the blender. No, we don't. No, no blender today. Yeah, we don't. We didn't. I mean, we could have done it with a blender, but yeah. you know, we don't need to. Base this is a quickie for you moms, you know, or dads who are single dads or single moms or married, or whatever. Um, the, um, put, a little, now we'll put a little oil in there. Now, depending on the amount of oil you put in there, will determine whether this is going to be a lotion or a cream. Mm. Okay. The more oil you put in, the thinner the, the fat, the more of a, of a, a lotion it becomes. Now, now if you want to add BHT or, or other uh, fat, oh, there we go. <laughs> like you're humming. <laughs> well, you get into this kind of thing, you know? Oh, that's funny. That's okay. <clears throat> it just sort of goes into another tangent there, you know, my brain's always working at four speed. Whatever. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Yeah, see, I'm going to see if we can get this here. See, it's a, it's a liquefied right now. Okay. See, can you see it? 
I can see inside of it, but I can't necessarily tell that it's a liquid. Well, let's see, it's uh, okay. Okay, oh, we'll do it yeah. this. Way. We'll do it this way. Yeah. I mean, the consistency of that came out. Okay. See, and right now oh, it's, yeah. it's still liquid. So oh, we're, yeah. gonna, we're gonna add more to it. More lanolin. The more lanolin. I want to thicken it up. I want it so that when you put it on, it'll be smooth as a baby's backside. It'll coat it. It'll absorb. Uh, Again, it'll absorb at a lower rate because we're not adding any alcohol to it, so it'll be more of a topical. And um, again, this is to protect the child from any, you know, any discomfort, uh, keep the skin um, with, the, with the barrier. So if they're sleeping and, you know, they wake up and they're, you got a wet pair of uh, diapers or whatever, you know, then they're not going to have the discomfort of the rash. And you can also apply this to people, I mean, to, to adults as well. Let's say you do have some dry skin issues or some skin irritation going on. This can help tremendously in, again, in the recovery factor of this. Ooh, there we go. It's getting there. Now, you can also do this another way. If you want to heat the oil, put your landlord inside, put it in a boiling water, and let the boiling water heat melt it down a little bit for you so it's easier to work with. You can do that as well. Mm. As you can see, it won't destroy any of the properties no, or anything. Because like that. It's in a glass, so you're you're shielding it from the direct heat. Okay, there we go. Aha! Uh -huh. It comes out a little thicker now. Come on out! Come out! Come out! Wherever you are. There we go. See there? Uh, you can kind of see it shifting around. There yeah, it is. There yep. it is. See. Now all you need to do is take it. Nice. Rub it on. And you're done. And as you can see, I can show you this. My skin's a little shinier. And as a result, it's coated and protected. Now, let's say you're going outside. And you got snow coming down, which we don't know today if it's chemtrail, laden, whatever, whatever. But you might want to put a coating on your face or any skin that might be exposed so that at least the coating of the skin will offer us a protective barrier even from the cold. So you can do it as well. So again, this is something. Took, what, two or three minutes to make? Save you a ton of money, you know, as far as uh, buying what you need and slapping it on. Again, you can, you can use other oils. Use coconut oil if you want. <clears throat> use palm oil if you like. You can use cocoa butter if you like. This is just one method. Not the only method, not the end all, not the be all. Now, I use myrrh and iodine. Again, expand your horizons. There's more than one way of doing it. The reason I don't like using things like lavender or um, some of the more floral scents because of the estrogen content. I do not want the child exposed to any estrogens, even if they are safe estrogens, they're not ready for that, their, their endocrine system is not developed. So use more of a neutral type of thing. Do you want to use, uh, uh, well not so much rosemary, but let's say your citrus stuff even would be better. Uh, do some research on some of these essential oils to see which are estrogenic or androgenic, and again try to find a more neutral essential oil because you do not want to load a child up with excess hormones. A lot of you are already feeding them formulas which are soy laden, which is already causing an endocrine disrupting effect on these children. So again, now let's say I want to make more. Okay, I got that little bit there. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a little more oil. And I'm just eyeballing it. Okay, and now I'll just add some more land onto it. Now you can do this in a bowl too. I mean, we're just doing this specifically for, you know, convenient purposes. I'll show you that you can just you know, put it in a jar direct if you want, and just you know, just start mixing it up. Bubble, bubble, toilet and trouble. <laughs> There's an old rhyme from way back in the day. <laughs> I told you, I'm after the dinosaurs. That's you know, that's me. <laughs> I used to tease my uncles all the time, saying, you guys are ancient, you know. He says, you guys were around when the dinosaurs were around. He says, that's right. They said, we killed those dinosaurs so you guys can live. I says, that's right. I'm after the dinosaurs. So. <laughs> Jeez. 
I'm an ancient, <laughs> I'm an ancient bastard. <laughs> now, when we're looking at, and this is why I can tell you from first hand, you know, because I've been around doing this for so long, uh, I can tell you firsthand what worked and what didn't, and what we had and what we've got today. And what we have today is a sham. Seriously, it's a sham. And so many of you are coming to me because you're ill and because of things that you're eating today and what you think is orgasmically organic, ooh, you know, that mm -hmm. thing, that, uh, you know, you don't realize how you've been had on so many different fronts. And again, um, it's a shame. It's really a shame. And it has nothing to do with you as a consumer because you really don't know. You, know. you just don't know. You're putting your faith in these articles and these gurus and whatever and some of you are putting your faith in the government which i can't figure out why but you do um and so you're being misled you know the food pyramid has been flipped upside down they have put grains at the top of the food pyramid whereas before it was at the bottom because it offers so little value it increases so many um damaging effects on the organ uh itself and you're eating these things so again we have to look for better alternatives than what is being currently um, uh, supported as a alternative. Today's alternatives are not alternatives, and a lot of those alternatives today are actually um, a lot of those alternatives today are actually de detrimental. See like that. Mm -hmm. Now that will coat. Here, we'll do it again. Look at that. Soft. It's almost almost a semi uh, semi um, what do you call that cream not cream um, uh, lotion kind mm. of thing all right same thing put a little bit on rub it in and it's coated and it's actually gentle on the skin it's not abrasive it's not going to hurt the child and again if you want to take some vitamin A go to the um, um, health food store or you can order some vitamin A direct you want to add it to the cream you can. Vitamin A is a fat soluble. If you want to add CQ10 to it, if you want to add CQ10 to it, you can. You know, mix it in there because CQ10 is also fat soluble. Um, some of these things you might want to put them in either a DMSO solution or some kind of a solvent, a light one, and just mix it in there until it dissolves the, uh, the uh, components you're going to put in, like your vitamin A or CQ10, and then add it to the lamin. Like I said, there's lots of ways of doing this. Tons of ways of doing this. Um, uh, and again, this is a very simple formula that now you have a baby, decides to have an accident, you can now alleviate the suffering from the accident. Or like I said, you can put it on and act as a protective barrier. All right, that's it. You just made yourself a baby diaper, anti-rash kind of component there. and. You know, it's been a while since I've had babies, so I don't know what baby things do or people do today with babies. So, but anyway, <laughs> you know, other than, you know, feeling sorry or whatever, and they come see me, oh, my child's sick. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's it. So, again, now before I forget, because I'm always forgetting, Dave has to remind me, we have got a flash drive. <clears throat> okay, it's a 32 gig flash. We have about 30 gigs of information on it. You have on there the videos that Dave and myself have done, 120 of them. Some are one, two, and three part videos, which are also part of that number. We have on here three books that I've put out. We've got on here the radio shows I've done in two, from 2007. We have three bonus databases that we've added to this uh, package, which is on homesteading, bushcraft, and uh, farming. Okay, so again, there it is. It's there for you. We are also telling you that if you can't afford the price, that we will barter. Bartering things of you know technology, bartering things of seeds, bartering on things of stuff for end time survival like capacitor, power units, whatever. So again, if you can't afford it, we can trade. If you have people in your network that cannot afford this, make them a copy, give it to them. Whether you burn them out of this, print them out, we don't care. Make sure you try and get everybody on these things. All right. Oh yeah, and one other thing. Uh, See, it's coming. It took only four videos. <laughs> if you have had success with what we've given you, what Dave and I have presented to you, and if you have any success, make a YouTube. You know, so Dave and I, myself can put up a testimonial video. And we'll put you up there with, you know, the testimony saying that you used this. And then again, this will inspire other people to do as well. 
to find a solution that can be done. And if we can inspire each other to become healthy and, and the things that are out there we can use. And again, even if you made any modifications to whatever uh, we've shown you, that's fine. We're not, we don't have a problem with that. Uh, the whole idea is to help educate each other to become more aware of that we can heal ourselves without having to go into a medical field or a pharmaceutical industry or an agro industry that's killing us. So again, by all means, sh uh, make the videos, send them to me or Dave, and we'll get them up there in one of the videos. When we get enough of them, we'll put them up and we'll let everybody see how everybody was successful at you know becoming kitchen alchemists and healers and we're taking over. <laughs> all right. That's it. To your next segment from Dave and myself to your health.